bike and a crab when I'm not the only I like a video and can one take it. Yeah, I was also in a one up the new woman for support to the evangelist who could be in Hanum one year. Oh, a point to one I make your lead. Those in a most of women know into prophetic ministries, Narasa family. Hana Rasa is in Roma. Sometimes their prophets in the course the other. A more kiss a package you, a more kiss and analyze you, a more one guy is it you go, Koku Edema. Where get your western banana? Ebony tea born as it is a city you can able to do it. You can uncarket and one up who did in here. Among no more, a lot of women are coming for this lady. Hana attack everywhere. And as the money is you could believe, when I see believe, because at the end of the day, I'm one on your is you could have been carry a standard state test of time. Now, what I know, you know, I believe you only believe you believe. So we could walk on one in my quail, and ask him, maybe he got a banner and not attack him. Sit you on a banner, quail, mother. So we could learn a video corner for now. Brother Ebu Kobi, Brother Ebu Kobi, Brother Ebu Kobi, how many times did I call you? Brother Ebu Kobi, how many times did I call you? Brother Ebu Kobi, call you? Brother Ebu Kobi anyway, sir, before I continue with my message with Brother Ebu Kobi, I want you to watch this video. Watch go to this video. Watch 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 this Prophetess. I noticed that recently, in fact, I knew all over social media, women, everybody, when I don't carry this matter for head like that, yeah. see if Ebu Kobi, what he said was wrong. Ebu Kobi have never said anything wrong. Ebu Kobi will be in hope wrote you wrong. You see this prophetic ministry, in this prophetic ministry, women are not supposed to be involved in it because some of us women are in the very mean and wicked. We are not supposed to be involved in anything that has to do with prophecy. Women are not supposed to be involved in it. The creator of heaven and earth, my reason, had you wouldn't exclude the women from this prophecy because a lot of them have done a lot of harm to families. Some of these prophetic women, this female version of prophetic ministry, ministers, these people that call themselves, that saying that God called them, God did not call them anything. They are not supposed to be part of this ministerial whatever. I don't know why everybody is shouting, hey, what did you say? What did, what did he say? Get, get you hope really wrong. These people have done more harm than good to the society. Women are not supposed to be prophetess. They are not supposed to have ministries. They are not supposed to be doing it. When you go, you go, you fool. Allowing women to start having prophetic ministry, doing all this nonsense, will cause more harm than good. I'm not talking about the biblical aspect of it. I know that, yes, in the Bible, you can get one or two places, you see where women did some certain things, but not these women of these days. These women of these days have turned everything upside down. We know men of these days are now using it as, as, as an avenue to, to, to grab whatever they have, they want to grab. Women of these days that are into prophetic ministry are using it to, to take other people's husbands and, and wives. Women of these days are using their prophecy to destroy homes. Women of these days that are into prophetic ministry are using this thing to cause problems between families. Women are not supposed to be allowed to be part of this prophetic ministry. No, I'm against it. I don't want it. I am not talking about the Bible because I know most of you will go to Bible and see where, yes, one or two women prophesy. Yes, I know. Esther in the Bible, most of them, we have women. Those, those, that, that year, those years, I mean, how do I put it? Women, they go a, a little bit, bit considerate. They, they use their head, but women of these days are too ambitious. They are all after money. They are all after what they are going to get. A woman is not supposed to be a prophetic, you're not supposed to have anything ministry. And you, a man, shame on you that will go out there and kneel down and a woman will be placing hand on your head. Are you, are you a fool? A woman is not supposed to lay hand on your head if you don't know it. 
a woman prophetess, a prophetic ministry, or prophetess, whatever they call themselves. I prefer a woman priest, a woman native doctor. I can do business with a, prof a woman that came out and said, I am a native doctor. I will be very comfortable sitting around you as a native doctor, as, as a priest, as a, as a seer. I will be very comfortable with you. Then in the KG church, would he wish this one that cover would it hide that under the, the disguise of prophet, prophetess in the name of that they are repentant or, 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 or maybe righteous? In fact, eh, those ones, eh, instead of make I do business with those ones, it is better make I just day my day like this. They are more dangerous than the devil himself. So you all attacking this man. The man is talking. It's not all sometimes, most times, some things you handle it physically. It's not all about Bible scriptures and all that. Because this Bible now, human being, right? And you maybe say you have your own brain, so you can be able to differentiate, calculate, look some kind of things very well before you follow. Some of these women are very wicked. I've seen a situation, a, a woman that called herself a prophetess of God destroy a whole family. A whole family. This woman destroyed them with her fake prophecy. Collected another man's husband. Left, took this man far away to China. Went to China and destroyed this man completely. And left that man in China. Move on with another man. Some of these women that say they are prophetess, they are more dangerous than the devil. Is it not the other day one of them at Mbano? After she had gotten married the first one, she gave that one three children. Married this, even the first second wife was on my page. That one, the second one that she collected her husband and destroyed that woman's marriage is in my inbox. She's still in my inbox telling me so many things about that, that, that wicked Jezebel that called herself prophetess that they disgraced at Mbano. The one that she collected her husband and made that woman a single mother today. You collected the man's husband, the woman's husband. You could not even manage the woman, the man. You still left him to another person to just go and destroy. You have destroyed how many homes have you have you destroyed so far? You have destroyed three homes so far. The first husband was not even your husband. You married another person's husband, a prophetess. Second one, you collected from another woman. Then the, and left that same man. You caused problem between that woman and her husband. But now both of them are separated. This one is still single up to today. Now you left that man to another man again. Thank God that them be no, them but no, menege ambro bashege. They disgraced you. I'm not even talking of the one that is very close to me. That's always trying to to manipulate my sales girls. I'm not even talking about that one. That is always trying to manipulate. That is always finding a way to even chase me. <laughs> Look at me and I date like me. Person they try me. In the Chiramania like this, as I did like this, you go come they put one or two chance for my shop. You know they craze. They have to, they have started confessing. This gentleman in a confession, I never even want to enter that matter self. But I, I told that woman that you will be disgraced. And since this year, she has been seeing disgrace. And a person will call herself prophet. And a person will get ministry. And this is somebody that gathered people and people are listening to her. These people are too fake. Women are not supposed to allow to be in that ministry. They, are, they don't know what they are doing. They are all useless set of people. Even though I believe that we have to an extent, very few of them that are real. Very few. We have very few of them that we can say, yes, these ones, to an extent, they are real. We have very little, very few of them. But majority of them, eh, they are wolves in sheep's clothes. Those people are not supposed to be allowed to come close. I don't know what in the Bible talk about them. Eh? Whatever Bible they talk about these people, I don't want to know because the experience I've had with these people who very dangerous experience. Very dangerous experience. They will see a lovely husband and wife. They will come and be prophesying to the man, telling the man that your wife is about to kill you. Your wife is putting this. Your wife is doing that. And you know they had they go start to sleep with people husband because of their female nature. And men are easily carried away when they see women doing all these things. You see them, they'll be carried away. That is why women are not supposed to come close to that that position at all, at all, at all. They are the most dangerous people. So you all attacking this man. Hey, the man Goku, he is a spiritual man. You cannot just come and all of a sudden you declare Omega prophetess and start to deceive people. And some go level people will just be going to die your ministry and be telling you secrets about themselves. Tomorrow you still use that secret against them. Women are not supposed to be allowed to have a prophetic ministry. Women are very dangerous in that aspect. 
Women of these days, they are all carnal. They are all carnal. They go after the things of the flesh. Very useless set of people. They are all carnal minded. They don't have nothing to offer. Now lies, deceit, fool their head. How to use somebody's head, how to do this, how to do that. That's the only thing they know how to do. Very useless set of people. Prophetess in Dimbu, prophetess my, 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 my left nyash. Respect to the ones that are genuine. I know that I, we have little genuine ones. Respect to you guys. Please. I still have my regard for those of you that are little genuine. I, I respect you guys. But in Hurunde go Shinde, all these ones that are native doctor in disguise. Native doctors in disguise. Instead of you to wear, confirm Abada, we will not say yes, they practice tradition. When I go enter inside church, they disguise yourself as, as prophets. Meanwhile, now evil full on ahead. Family destroyers, husband snatchers.